Hey guys, today's video will be creating this country code picker. This one. As you can see, once we choose any uh, country here, it updates the country code picker. So, this is what we're gonna creating today. So, let's get started. Hey guys, this is our uh, text for field, this one. So, as you can see, we have plain and simple uh, text for field with only a decoration of outline input border and the uh, label and this hint text there. So, let's create the country prefix here. So, in order to save time, we will be using the country picker package. So let's go ahead and search for that. There you go. This is what we will be using. Okay, as you can see, Using this is pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and install it. There you go. So after installing, Let's go ahead and create country code picker file here in our utils. There you go. So the only thing we need to do is just to copy this one. Okay. And then let's wrap this with our own function. So let's create our own function here. Let's name it pick country code. And then let's return this one. In order to use this, we need to import it. So as you can see, we need this context, so let's pass the build context here. And what we also want to do is to pass this on select function. So let's change this with our on select function. And as you can see, this on, on select needs a country parameter, so let's go ahead and do that. Country, okay. But I won't recommend passing this country here. The reason for that is if you'll use this pick country code in your UI, then you will need to import once again the country picker, and that is not what we want. Because what we want is to isolate this country picker package so that it will be easier for us to do a unit testing when we need to test our applications. So to address this, we need to create our own implementation of country. So uh, what we need to do here is to create our own uh, class. So let's name it uh, pick country code. And we will only extract the uh, the uh, variables that we need. So so what we only need here is the phone code and the flag emoji. Those are the only thing that we need to extract. So let's go ahead and create that. There we go. Then right click and generate the class. Okay. 
so there we go we can now change this with our own implementation pick country code let's rename this to pick country code like that and then now we are gonna select There we go. So the next thing we need to do is to create the uh, button. So here in our own press function, let's call the pick country code function that we have created. This one. So let's go ahead. There we go. We can pass a bit context here and the uh, on select. So, in order to use this, we need to use it in here prefix icon okay then country code button there you go as you can see we already have this but since this is empty then we cannot see anything here so let's try to put a ph here there you go we can see the ph but how can we display the uh, plug emoji and the form code here? So to display that, we need to store the form code and plug emoji in a variable. So I will be storing it in a provider. So it's up to you if you'll be storing in your own uh, state management tools. But for me, since I am Riverpad user, then I will be using Riverpad here. Let's give it a default value. Let's say Philippines, like that. It's three. Then let's create the provider for the uh, flag emoji. Then, in order to use this, we can go ahead inside this and watch this provider. So, in order to watch this provider, we need the right object. And to be able to use the right object here, then we need to wrap this with a consumer. There you go. Then, let's watch the providers here. So then, after watching, we can just simply display their value here in the text widget. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. We can simply hit the refresh. And as we can see, bingo. There you go. However, this is just a default value, and if you select this, this won't change. So, to change this, we need to update this provider here. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, there you go. Let's refresh it. Let's try. Boom! There you have it. It's now updating. As simple as that, guys. So if you have any questions, please write your questions in the comment below. 
So I'll try my best to answer it back. And if you want to see more tips and tricks like this, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video.